My name is Selena, I'm a nutrition educator, and I'm back with another video. Today's lesson is called World of Spices. I'm going to introduce you to five common spices that you can use instead of salt. Then we will create a spice blend and a delicious vegetarian gumbo. So let's get started. Basil tastes sweet and earthy and is delicious in any Italian dish, such as lasagna or pasta. It pairs well with ground meats, salads, soups, and sauces. Add dried basil to a dish 15 minutes before it is done cooking for full flavor. Thyme is particularly popular in French and Italian cooking. It comes in fresh or dried forms and adds flavor to lean meats, soups, and roasted vegetables. Lightly crush dried leaves between your fingers when adding to a dish to release the flavor. Rosemary tastes woody and pairs well with proteins such as roasted chicken, pork, or salmon. It also goes well with mushrooms and whole grain breads. Curry powder is actually a blend of spices, usually including coriander, turmeric, cumin, and others. It's widely used in Indian and Asian food and can add flavor to a veggie and egg scramble. It also pairs well with brown rice or quinoa. Some curry powders can be hot and spicy. If you prefer a milder one, look up a curry powder recipe online and make your own mix. Paprika tastes smoky and woody. It pairs well with egg dishes. It's also tasty in fruit salsas and tomato sauce. Use paprika to add the smokiness to any dish. These are just five savory flavors from around the world. There are many more that you can explore. Now, let's talk about storing your spices so that they can maintain their flavor. Store spices in a cool, dry place and not above the stove. You can use airtight containers such as glass jars and resealable plastic bags. Spices are expensive, so refrigerating them in airtight containers will extend their life and the flavor will last longer. Now that you know everything about spices, let's make a spice blend. These are the spices that you will need for our spice blend. One teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of ground cumin, and one teaspoon of dried thyme, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. In a small bowl, stir together all the ingredients. Transfer to a jar with a tight fitting lid. Store in a cool, dark, dry place for up to six months. Now that we have our homemade spice blend, let's make vegetarian gumbo. These are the ingredients that you will need for your vegetarian gumbo. One fourth cup of all purpose flour, one celery stalk, half of an onion, one carrot, half of a red bell pepper and one fourth of a green bell pepper, one small tomato, vegetable broth, one can of red beans, one zucchini, half a cup of tomato paste, two bay leaves, our homemade spice blend, and half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. In a large pot, you're gonna wanna stir together three tablespoons of canola oil. One, two, three. And 
around your fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour. Cook over medium-low heat for 10 minutes. Stir in the celery and onion. Carrot. bell peppers. Stir in the tomatoes and the vegetable broth. Cook covered for 10 minutes and increase the heat to medium. Stir in the remaining ingredients. Zucchini, red beans, tomato paste, one teaspoon of our spice blend, and two bay leaves. Bring to a simmer and cook covered for 15 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, stay healthy and have a great rest of your day. Bye.